hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful straight fitted palazzo pants with side pockets elastic band and a rope before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it I'll be using this fabric for this tutorial and it is two yards and I'll also be using this elastic band. So I'll be using an elastic band on the waist. So this is 1.5 inches thick and this is almost an inch. So it depends on the kind of elastic you want to use. So I'll be using this one and a half inches. I've gone ahead to fold my fabric this way and this is the folded edge and I have also marked the waistline now to cut out this elastic waist trouser you can decide to cut it out this way and later attach the band or the elastic casing or you can cut it together with the band like assuming the band is two inches so you can add the measurement of the band that is two inches and then fold it for the elastic casing so i'll be cutting it out this way and later i will attach the band or the elastic casing now i am going to mark the waist to the crotch depth now on an average the crotch depth is 12 inches to measure the crotch depth is to sit on a chair and measure vertically from the waist to the seat of the chair After doing that, I am going to mark the waist to the full length of the trouser. So this is 12 inches for the crotch. I am going to mark the full length, which is 44 inches. And I am going to add three inches for hemming allowance. That is 47 inches. On the waistline from the folded edge, I'll go in by 1.5 inches and on the crotch line i'll mark half inch and on the hem line i'll mark one inch i'll connect it this way i'll mark the one inch on the hem and i'll connect it to the half inch I am going to be attaching an elastic band on the waist of this pant so in order to do that i am going to be using my hip circumference on the waist now if you're using a stretchy fabric you can cut it out you can use your exact waist measurement because the back piece is going to be bigger than the front piece so if that's it the fabric is stretchy if the fabric is not that stretchy you can just add one inch on the waist circumference but this fabric that i'm using is not stretchy so i'll be using my hip circumference on the waist so i'll mark a quarter of my hip circumference starting from the one and a half inches as you can see i'll mark my quarter of my hip circumference and i'll add one inch for side seam now I'll measure from the one inch to the edge of the fabric. What I have is 13 and a half inches. On the crotch line, I am going to mark the same 13 and a half inches to have a straight line. So I'll connect it. On the waistline, I marked quarter of my hip circumference. Now on the crotch line, I will mark half of my round tie, starting from this half inch. I'll mark half of my round tie and I'll make the pants curve this way and on the hem I'll minus 3 inches from the round tie that is 15 minus 3 that is 12 inches and I'll connect it this way for the front piece I'll come down by 1 inch and I'll make a slant line this way that is it for the front piece. I'll cut this out.
On the waist, I'll add half inch for sewing allowance. That is it for the front piece. Now I am going to be cutting out the back piece. I've gone ahead to fold my fabric this way. As you can see, I'll place the front piece and I'll leave about three inches above. You want to make sure to leave enough space for the back piece. Now I'm going to extend the waistline and the crotch line and also the hemline. And I'll also mark the 1.5 inches on the waist and the half inch on the crotch. And I'll also mark the one inch on the hem line and I'll align it and pin it down this way. I'll make sure to pin it all through to keep it in place. You want to make sure not to cut out the one inch for the slant so that you don't get confused so remember i came down by one inch so this is the one inch now for the back piece i'll come up by one inch so it's like i am marking two inches from this point so from this 1.5 inches i'll make a slant line past the one inch this way after doing that, remember I used 12 inches for the waist measurement here. I am going to mark the same 12 inches from the one and a half inches and I'll add two and a half inches. For a plus size, you can add three inches. And I am going to connect this point to this point. I'll extend the crotch line and mark two and a half inches. For a plus size, you can mark three inches and I'll make the curve. I'm going to extend the hem line and I'll mark one inch and I'll connect it to the crotch line this way. That is it for the back piece. I am going to cut it out. So this is the back piece. I'm going to keep it aside. For the front piece, I'll be attaching a pocket. I've gone ahead to cut out the pocket. I have four pieces here. So I'm going to pick two pieces. And I'll place the front piece this way, align it and pin it down. I'll mark the length of the pocket, which is 7 inches, and the width, I'll mark 2 inches. I'll make a slant this way and cut it out. So I'm going to place the right sides this way. I'm going to align it and sew by quarter inch. I've done that and I've attached the pocket. So I have a detailed video on how to cut a straight palazzo pant with a band and side pocket. You can check that out to know how to attach a pocket. So I've joined the crotch area as you can see on the front and the back piece. Now I am going to place the right side this way and I will sew on the one inch side seam. After doing that, I'll also sew by half inch this way. I'll make sure I align the crotch area and I'll sew by half inch to the hem. I've done that. I've joined the side seam and I've also joined the crotch area as you can see. I have also hemmed. To cut out the band, that's the elastic casing on the waist, I am going to measure round the pant. I've gone ahead to cut out the band. Like I said, I'll be using the bigger elastic band of 1.5 inches. I've gone ahead to cut out a waistband of 2 inches, so I'll be using half inch for sewing allowance. 
for the elastic band i've gone ahead to join i joined it by half inch as you can see and i stitched on both edges this way to make it flat or you can use a zigzag stitch so the width of the elastic band is i minus five inches from my waist circumference because i am going to be attaching a rope to the trouser so if you don't want to attach a rope to the trouser you can reduce minus more than five inches from the elastic from your waist circumference so you can place the elastic band and stretch it around the waist to get the measurement now if you want to attach a rope on this pant to create the hole like a buttonhole where the rope will pass through from the midpoint of the band that is where you join the band you will mark one inch or one and a half inches on both sides this way i will stitch on half inch above and half inch below the band so you make like a buttonhole on the one inch that is this point that i marked you make like a button hole for the rope to pass through and you make the hole on this other side or you can make the hole on the mid point i'm going to place the elastic band on the elastic casing this way and i will sew by half inch make sure not to sew on the elastic band so that it can move freely so this is it now i am going to sew on half inch from the folded edge and sew on half inch again you want to make sure the gathers are even from the folded edge i will sew by half inch as you can see i am stretching the elastic band in order to sew so this is it i am going to sew on half inch again and the second half inch is going to be the casing for the rope So this second roll is going to be the casing for the rope. Now I am going to attach the band to the trouser. I will align the stitched part of the stitch part together. That's a stitch part on the band and the trouser. And then I am going to sew by half inch. As you can see, I am stretching the band to fit in the trouser so this is how it came out as you can see i'll be sewing close to the stitch to keep it in place to keep the band in place i am going to sew very close to the stitch this way So this is how it came out and I'll make sure to surge round. That is it. I've gone ahead to cut out the rope and the width is 1.5 inches and the length is my waist circumference times 2 inches. As you can see, I've gone ahead to fold both sides this way and fold it again now i am going to fold the edge by quarter inch this way and i'll fold it back to the shape and i will make a top stitch i 
when I get to the other side I am as well going to fold in quarter inch and fold it again so this is it to pass the rope through the casing on the band I'll be using a small safety pin this way and on the stitched part of the band that's on the midpoint I am going to open it up and pass the rope through I've done that as you can see I've passed the rope through the casing and this is how really beautiful it came out as you can see you can adjust the rope to fit in the waist however you like i have a detailed video on how to draft a straight fitted palazzo pant without an elastic band with just the band and side pocket i'll put the link on the description box if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for kindly give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when i upload a new video thank you guys for watching bye